Okay, welcome back guys. So let's carry on from left off. So we're supposed to make a night browse for this. So we make a night browse for this. So let's let me hide this piece. I'll hide this. I'll hide the top here also. Okay. Let me hide this, bring out the eye scalp. Let me give it a slightly different material. Lead by type history on that first. And I'll just darken it a bit more. Like so. so, if I should view this now, if you view this now, you can see the difference in the shader. So, this is why I'm doing that because I want to kind of see the both of this in place. You can see the both of this in place. Mm, okay. So I'll select select just this first. Let me hide this for now. Go to X Gen. Let's create a new description for this. Okay. Let me create a new collection first. So name this to I underscore scalp underscore CLL okay yeah this should this should be fine then for the description oh leave it as leave it as it is then name this to i let's start with the i brow underscore brow uh, underscore d i s c listen and shipping guide randomly across surface plans that's fine Ice cap collection that's fine, also <clears throat> okay. I don't know why that's to bring out the other one again. So let me just create something here to big. Let me put this down something to begin with. Let's start from around. Somewhere around the year, <clears throat> and here also, and I'll go back to the edit collection. I'd like to turn off automatic updates, turn off automatic updates, hide this, hide this also. Go back to the ice cap collection. Let it close up <clears throat> view in there. Huh. So I'm just going to block this out like so. <clears throat> okay, something like that should be fine. I think I should use the front view instead.
just trying to block out where I feel the air should grow out from. I think we are fine. I think something like should be fine. Let's go to our XGen tab. <clears throat> Okay, I will select all of this, pull, elongate that a bit more, select this, select this, elongate a bit, <coughs> extend this out a bit more, a little bit. Now, leave this, <coughs> I'll leave this to the video. <coughs> So now let's go in there and begin to move this in place. Select this first. Get a good angle to it. Okay. Like so. Okay. Like so. Select this. Okay, we want this to be a bit closer to the skin though, so let's get this even closer. Okay. Get this down. Just keep following this direction like this, you should be fine. Okay. I think I can copy this, copy, paste, paste. Okay. Let's generate, let's generate some hairs around there. Seems to be 0, 0.0. Let's try 0, 0.15 instead. 7, 1. 7, 6. Get some more hairs in there. So I'm going to use the I'm going to have some more curves around the <coughs> yeah huh. just in the middle part somewhere around your legs so it should be fine. Select all of this mirror it to the other side. 
generates come in here turn off only primitive in view okay Okay, select all of this, spend it out some more, select all of this, delete, run this again, select all of this, mirror to the other side, <coughs> we'll do this again, you hide this, okay. Now let's add risk creates density marks for this. Do some black high brow underscore D E N C D N S underscore marks. Save this. Go to the marks, painting full black, painting full white also. Using a solid brush. This is why I promoted it for this. This is smaller brush size. Get this here. Okay. It's not okay, not symmetrical, it's not very symmetrical. That's fine. That's fine. I would turn off symmetry for now. Now just paint this manually. Okay. Increase the brush size a bit more. We can fill up the center parts. Okay. Let's save this. Well, I shouldn't update, but it's saved. Let's save texture also. Save this texture. Save this again, then do an update. Turn off wire from one shaded. Let's ID the guides for now. Right of the bat, we have something good enough to work with. See, we can't. Let's increase this to somewhere around 30. Run this again. Okay. I would like to go back in here into the max. Hide the hairs. Use this much smaller brush size. Hold on, shift on, sorting out the edge. Let's 
So my model shift while doing this. Save this. Run an update. Okay. So I'm just softening out the edge for this. Save that updates. Okay. Save my scene. Save the scene again. Um, ah, it's giving it CO, oh, it's way too thick. Ah, it's way too thick, it's way too thick. <coughs> Just way too thick. Let's erase some of this. So let's go back in there. Fantastic. That is just great. Good thing received. It's okay, so open it up. Open it up again. And I'll set my project and then test it everything. So everything is still there. And then go back to the ice cap. Now, as I did blow, it made it thicker than it needs to be so I need to erase that so this is a solid brush painting full black use the brush size so I'm just going to erase more of the lower parts Do the same for the other side. Let's save this. Let's see what we have. I think this is, this is in a good place. Yeah, this will work. So, let me do a quick save again. And let's add modifi modifiers, to the, modifiers to this. We won't be doing too much in here, though. So, let's start with clumping. Put five in here. Generate, save this. Run an update. Okay. Add another clump modifier in here. Put this 10 generates. Maybe even more 20. Run an update. Okay. Maybe for this lower one, let's put this at ten. Let me put this, me put this at twenty instead. Then this second one, I'll put this at forty instead. Run an up, <coughs> run updates.
okay yeah, we can live with this so but i think i need need a bit more hair around there a bit more go to the modifiers generate just to update this setup map generates so anytime you add more hairs you need to kind of go to the clumping just to get the clumping and cutting all of those then i would add a noise modifier run this right off the bat this actually looks good but maybe let's randomize the let's randomize the maximum for this Let me copy this but let us delete the point three at the end then run this okay yeah this is much better yeah, this is much this is much better this should work Okay, then we'll add our port modifier. Let's see what that gives us. Probably increase the number. Let me put this at six. Oh, I'm supposed to use I'm supposed to use the this is the setting we're supposed to use the one we're supposed to use in the it should have a stronger effect now. Okay, then put this delete to so put this at six zero point six. Okay, yeah, this should be fine. Save this. Okay, so in the next lesson, we're going to be working on creating some eyelashes for him. So let me stop this and then we'll continue the next lesson.